Well, it has been 28 years since the tragic death of Corpus Christi Tejano singer Selena, who was gunned down by the president of her fan club. We know the sad story of the somber day in our city's history, so that's the extent of what we'll mention about this day when it relates to her passing. Yeah, in fact, 3 News anchor Rudy Trevino took his camera out to determine that this anniversary should best be remembered by celebrating Selena's legacy and her enduring popularity. It continues to grow beyond the generations who weren't even born during the singer's lifetime. I've grew up on her music. And Take, for instance, Victoria and Connie from Houston, both admitted Selena fans and born long after the singer's passing. Even though I wasn't born, I can still see all the things she did. I can still observe and appreciate the music she did. Her music has had a huge impact on how people view the Hispanic community, her songs, and how people view women as a whole. Selena has today broken any barriers crossed musical genres, even attracted fans from around the world. Where are you from? From Thailand. Thailand. <laughs> Far and few are the days the Selena statue is alone. After all, it is the most visited site in Corpus Christi, where fans like McKenna Gatica from Lubbock find inspiration and hope. I just think she speaks to a lot of people um, through her music, especially having to grow up in a country um, where we don't really feel connected to our Mexican side, but we don't really feel connected to our American side. Uh, me personally, I don't know Spanish, um, but being able to sing her songs really just makes me feel connected to that part of my culture. To appreciate Selena's legacy, is to appreciate the works of art created in her honor, such as the white rose tiles at the base of the statue, hand-painted by Texas children who love the singer. Or this massive mural just off Air Street, painted by a Peruvian man who thought it would be a great idea to use one of Selena's pictures when she was just a child, a way to express his love for the singer. I just come out here and clean up here and uh, make sure it's presentable to the tourists that come from all, all around the country, uh, all around the world. And Mario Gomez makes sure the small planter at the corner of Bloomington and Elvira is always weed free. The corner store is home to a massive painting commissioned by the family and displayed along the street, Selena once called home. Across town at Seaside Memorial, Thousands pay respect to the singer every year. Her gravesite today, adorned with the iconic white roses and purple ribbons. It is here. Parents who once were fans as youngsters bring their children to pay their respects and in a way, pay the memories forward. I think she'll always be like a memory. Rudy Trevino, 3 News. All right. Thank you, Rudy. We appreciate that report. And uh, he didn't have to look very hard to find Selena fans. No, not here. And just as you heard, fans from all over. So a legacy that continues to shine bright. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the music, so you just need the.